So as you can see, this question is about universities and the role that universities play in contributing to elite sporting success. Here's the actual wording of the question. It says, how do universities contribute to elite sporting success in the UK? And there are three marks for this question. Now, as always, the number of marks means the number of different points you need to make when answering this question. So don't just make one point and then talk about it lots. Think that you've done enough to get your three marks. Three marks, three different points, and you're going to be well on your way to doing well in this particular question. So let's have a look at some of the things that the universities in the UK do in order to contribute to elite sporting success. So one of the first things we can say is that universities, many, not all, but universities provide scholarships for elite performers. They will help them with their academics, so they will help them potentially with their accommodation. They will help them financially because they want them to be part of their university and represent them in the sporting competitions, etc. And if they go on to represent GB or very higher levels, of course, it's very good for the university. So the first point we want to say is that provide, they provide scholarships for elite performers. Secondly, they also, many of them, have high quality facilities. And coupled with that, you'll see that they have also specialist coaches. So when you get a question, if you get a question about the universities, let's make sure that you're talking about high quality facilities, high quality specialist coaches, not just good coaches and good facilities. Be very specific. Talk about high quality and specialist coaches and facilities. Now, with that, the university itself, amongst them, the body called the uh, BUCS, Bucks, which is the British Universities and Colleges Sports, organise high quality, high level competition. And this is competition between the universities and colleges. And there are a number of tiers. Tier one is the very, very top universities, the likes of Loughborough, etc., competing in all sorts of different sports. So one of the things that the universities do then is they enable or allow their, their students to participate in this high level competitions. What they also do, especially if you're familiar with some of the um, Institute of Sport uh, universities, is that they provide sports science and sports medicine support. So that could be sports science, could be your biomechanics, your exercise physiology, for example, and sports medicine, as the name suggests, any kind of medicine that's required or the students need, so physiotherapy, any kind of rehab support that students might need after injury or indeed prevention of injury. Now, the other thing as well, which universities do very well, is that they find this balance between high level competition and the work that they've got to do uh, at the university and there's an understanding that of course if someone is an elite performer and they're going off their training they go off to training camps they're competing they're preparing for major world games for example that there has to be a bit of give and take in terms of um, work schedules etc so there's an understanding their balance and that balance between the work and the training and preparing for competition and lastly and I've already alluded to this some universities not all but some universities are part of the English Institute of Sport. They're the, the satellites, the hubs of the English Institute of Sport. I'm thinking, for example, of Bath University and Loughborough University. You might want to make um, have one of the, one or two of those as your examples. And they um, offer excellent first-class facilities, first-class uh, coaching for not just the students, but also other people who might be on some kind of elite program. But they are definitely part of the university and therefore they contribute to the elite sporting success. So going back to the question, how do universities contribute to elite sporting success in the UK? You need to identify three of those things we've said. Talk about them in sufficient detail. You don't need to go on forever. Talk about them in sufficient detail and then hopefully you'll be scoring maximum in this type of question.